hello and welcome to Retrocade. Racing games have been around since the beginning of the video game industry. But which ones are the best? Let's take a look at them. Burnout 3 is so cool that even 20 years after, you feel the rush when slamming into another car. This was one of the first racing games that didn't focus on how realistic it is, or how controls are similar to real cars. Actually, they focused on slamming cars into other opponents and NPCs on the road. Because crashing was so popular, it got its mod called the Crash Mod, in which you need to cause a chain reaction of crashes. As always, the bigger, the better. This, along with the Road Rage mod, is what put Burnout among legends. If you're a Formula fan, you had to try this game. This is a game where you could truly experience what it's like to be Michael Schumacher or Lewis Hamilton. What describes this game is hyper-realism, where a great amount of detail is put into authentic formulas, tracks, teams, and drivers, as well as in weather conditions during both day and night. Even if you aren't a Formula One fan, this is a game for everyone, from game veterans to rookies. Multiplayer options are cool too, so if you like competing online, then this is one more game that you should try. Let's not forget the customization part, which was pretty fun too. This is a demolition derby simulator game from 2006. Flat Out 2 wasn't just a racing game, it was a crash game with a racing element added to it. The destruction derby mode was known as deathmatch just with cars. But the overall graphics and physics in the game at that time were impressive, even for some games today. This game, because of its damage system, allowed players to experience realistic car destruction. Players could, for the first time ever, see how an average car turns into a pile of scrap metal, which was something entirely new at the time. The first ever fully free open world was introduced in this game, Need for Speed. Underground 2 is the game that simply has it all. Vibrant colors, neon lights, a great story, and a ton of nitrous. This game features some of the best cars in the series, and the racing and game mechanics were top notch at that time. That's why fans were taken by storm when they saw the Need for Speed Underground 2 fan remake last year. If we see the game being remastered by EA, we would like to see customization since it was one of the best with all the Fast and Furious vibes. This racing game simulator was so real that the game used laser tech for scanning. Using laser scanning technology, the whole tire simulation on racetracks was reconstructed. This tech made you feel every curve and bump along the way. Aside from that, the game featured mouth-watering graphics and physics at the time. The game had tons of customizable options. Plus, it wasn't as easy as other games to beat. If you're up for a challenge, try Assetto Corsa. Trackmania Nations Forever is unlike other games, far from realistic, but still highly addictive. Gamers compete in timed races on a variety of tracks, using their reflexes and abilities to finish first as quickly as they can. Another thing that makes it great is that it's free to play. The game also has an effective track editor that enables users to design their own unique tracks using a variety of tools and elements. Because of this function, a vibrant online community of track producers has emerged sharing their works for others to play and enjoy. For all racing and rally fans, this is the holy grail of off-road games. It's dirty and fast, and you'll feel every bump on the road as you cut the curves in the forest and on mountains. If you were a fan of games such as Need for Speed but never played Dirt, we dare you to try it. This game doesn't focus so much on aesthetics like graffiti on the hood of the car and fancy urban aesthetics. 
Its focus is mostly on exact and realistic terrains and obstacles caused by weathering that will put your driving limits to the max. After the success of Need for Speed, Underground 2, another champion emerged, NFS Most Wanted. This game took a different turn and made it less linear than its predecessor. It had an open world, but players didn't have to follow specific quests to progress. In other words, the world felt freer. It was the biggest Fast and Furious look-alike game ever made with car chases. This was everybody's dream at the time, to evade cops to progress, something like GTA did, but just with cars in the NFS universe. If you want to experience a real race without leaving your room, then all you need is Gran Turismo 7. It has been compared to other games like Forza Horizon 5, but the graphics are simply too beautiful. Unlike other games, this one's main emphasis is on tracks and car performance, with over 400 cars to choose from. Every car in this game will feel like you're testing it in real life. They have committed the entire series to reality and physics, and this is their peak so far. Just give it a try and you'll see what we're talking about. We couldn't pick any specific game in this series, because the entire Forza Horizon series is just perfect. Unlike Need for Speed, Forza Horizon has worked on creating a natural environment. It looks and feels so realistic that after some time, you forget you're playing a video game. One of the standout features of this game series is the music that complements the environment. The gameplay has improved significantly compared to Gran Turismo, and Forza Horizon has outdone them all in this regard. With all the cars and races available, this is a game that every player should experience. Horizon, this is Mexico. 